incredible. Now, you know what I'd really like to see? I'd like to see some of these, uh, instead of building more of these uh, government bureaucracies, these federal bureaucracies, I'd like to see us start getting rid of some of them and free up the burden on the taxpayer. You know, if we stop our global empire, we could end the IRS. You know, we need to get rid of the Department of Education, which is purposely dumbing down the American people. There's no use for it anymore. I mean, and Homeland Security needs to be disassembled and gotten rid of. Another, another is, the, is the Federal Reserve. We need to end the Federal Reserve and take back control of our monetary system just as the Constitution says. And the Federal Reserve is a private bank with an Orwellian name. And there is a man determined to do that, and that's Representative Ron Paul. And he introduced H.R. 1207, the Federal Reserve Transparency Act of 2009, on February 26, 2009. It looks like the Federal Reserve may finally have something to worry about now that H.R. 1207 is finally gaining serious steam. If enacted, H.R. 1207 will amend Title 31 of the United States Code and reform the manner in which the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System is audited by a Comptroller General of the United States. In other words, for the first time since 1950, the criminals at the Federal Reserve will be forced to open their books by law. It now has 179 co-sponsors. I have the list up at Harry Thomas Don Info of all the, the representatives that are co-sponsoring this bill. And I am happy to say that our own local Congressman Dan Maffei has signed on as a co-sponsor of that bill. And I've been critical of, of, of Daniel, Daniel Maffei since he's taken um, his, his uh, Congress seat. And I also am supportive of him. And I think we all should send emails to our representatives, our local representatives that are supporting this bill, and let them know that we support them. When they do something that we like, we need to let them know. Just like when they do things that we don't like, we need to let them know. But it needs to go both ways. And, you know, I've personally sent emails out there to Dan Maffei honoring him for his support of this bill. And uh, I have a video up of Ron Paul's update of H.R. 1207 from CampaignForLiberty.com. I mean, that is just amazing. Ron Paul has done this before and has gotten no support at all. I, I mean, I, I think he introduced uh, a similar bill like this in uh, 2005 that got no steam at all. So this is promising, but then there also are them critics. There seems to be a heck of a lot of critics out there now, which means uh, there is very good effectiveness of the Campaign for Liberty. Where they're trying to say, well, Ron Paul is a part of this uh, cabal. And in order to bring in the uh, world government and their world monetary system and all, they need to get actually get rid of the Federal Reserve. And that's why you're getting so many co-sponsors and all. You know, whatever. We need to get rid of it anyway. No matter if we're, we got a world currency coming or not. Which is totally unconstitutional and needs to be resisted. In fact... Former congressional candidate David Gay, who was very active in the Ron Paul campaign, whom I did get an interview at the local Syracuse Tea Party, he said that when you're coming up and you're facing something like a world currency or an Amero, that the Constitution at that point is so desecrated that the American people have no other choice but to engage in an armed revolution at that point. So, you know, let people say what they want. The Federal Reserve needs to be resolved. It needs to be dissolved. And that's really just the bottom line. So get the word out about this. Let's get this uh, audited. People say, you know, wh what are you, crazy? The, the Federal Reserve is audited every year. No, it's not audited every year. They, they count the desks. They count the pencils and, and all that other stuff. An inventory audit. But they have not audited the gold. They have not audited the monetary structure. And they need to be held accountable. I mean, you have Timothy Geithner, who headed up the Federal Reserve in New York City 
And he is now the Treasury Secretary. Think about that. You want to talk about conflict of interest, you want to talk about lobbyists in Washington. And it was confirmed that Geithner did attend the Bilderberg meeting. We'll get to that later on. I've got to fly through this. I got so much stuff. We got the World Bank saying rising unemployment raises the threat of a social crisis. And they're preparing for this. They know they're going to crash the economy. They know that the U.S. financial system is in crisis. That the dollar's dying, which is the world reserve currency. And that the American people are going to be upset about this. And the more people that, that lose their jobs and the more pensions that get stolen, you know, the way we're going, you're either going to be in the system or working for the system. And they are taking preparations. They're building FEMA camps. They're putting draconian legislation in. They're preparing NORTHCOM, which is emergence of Canadian military and United States military policing on Canadian and United States soil. Total treason. Totally against the law. But I guess the American public is just scared enough to let them do whatever they want. The fear-mongering campaign continues to be effective. And in fact, Kurt Nimmo wrote at Infowars.com May 14, 2009, Boy Scouts trained to become Homeland Gestapo. Once upon a time, the Boy Scouts were about camping, backpacking, and canoeing. Boy Scouts were into high adventure and sporting activities. Scouts were about preventing forest fires and do a good turn daily. Scouts worked with the Salvation Army and the Red Cross. They cherished ideals such as the Cub Scout promise and the law of the pack. Now the Boy Scouts have a new mission. Fighting terrorism, rounding up illegal aliens, search and destroying marijuana fields, and embracing the SWAT mentality. The, Impro the Explorers Program, a co-educational affiliate of the Boy Scouts of America that began 60 years ago, is training thousands of young people in skills to confront terrorism, illegal immigration, and escalating border violence. An intense ratcheting up of one of the group's longtime missions to prepare youth for a more traditional jobs as police officers and firefighters, reports the New York Times. Homeland Security and the FBI are behind the effort to indoctrinate and train the Boy Scouts to become tomorrow's Gestapo. Our end goal is to create more agents, said a senior Border Patrol agent to the New York Times. Before, it was about the basics. Now our emphasis is on terrorism, illegal entry, drugs, and human smuggling. Just as there are soccer moms, there are explorer dads who attend the competitions, man the hamburger grill, and donate their land for simulated marijuana field raids. In their training, the would-be law enforcement officers do not mess around, as they revealed at a recent competition on the state fairgrounds, where a Ferris wheel sat next to police cars set up for felony investigation. They're training the Boy Scouts to be the Homeland Gestapo. I mean, I was a Boy Scout. I was a Cub Scout. I was a Weeblo. I got the Arrow of Light. I crossed the bridge and received it from the Indian. It was all about survival skills. It was all about camping. Just like they said. It was all about learning. You know, about nature. Now it's all about violence. And that's a sad estate. I mean, if I had a boy, I wouldn't put him in the Scouts these days. Even though I was a Scout, I wouldn't. I don't support the Scouts anymore. The Scouts are, have, have strayed long, far away from the path that they should be. Politically correct or not, Homeland Security and the FBI realize a Arabs are not the enemy. Right-wing extremists are, you know. And, and when the new administration comes in, it'll all be left-wing extremists, you know. Whatever is the opposite of the false left-right paradigm, the left-right fraud of the political spectrum. And I've got some videos up of coverage uh, from PrisonPlanet.tv, stuff that I had put up on my YouTube channel, Harry Thomas Info. Warning, scouts are training to quell domestic dissent. Vets beware. Boy scouts are training to become homeland Gestapo. There's two parts. 
And this really just coincides with all the other programs that are being expanded for the new youth brigades and all. And people were like, oh, we, you know, come on, Harry. That ain't going to happen. It's happening. I told you it was going to happen. I don't understand why continually to this day the people closest to me don't want to believe a word I have to say. And it, it really is true. The people who are closest to you are the ones that that attack that attack your character the uh, the worst, and it's mainly because they don't have any respect. And that's what I said. I said to a few people I work with, I said, you know why you don't listen to a word I say or heed any of my warnings? It's because you don't have any respect for me. And they just kind of looked at me like, what? And I, you, you know, I'm like, you've been conditioned to react this way. And pointed out several things. But I'm getting off the topic again. I got a lot of stuff here to cover.